All right, y'all, back at you. Today, I want to talk about um, coastal erosion and um, how to um, fortify your shoreline um, and reduce erosion on your property using native plants. You can see here we have this old seawall um, along our property here, and I mean, I'm not going to lie, I do like the seawall. It, uh, it has certainly helped uh, to reduce the erosion on our property, but it's, it's not the greatest thing for the environment or for the river here. Um, you can't tell right now, the, the water's kind of calm, but you know, some days the water's pretty rough and it comes slamming up against our seawall here and creates all sorts of sediment that goes back out into the river and you know, clouds up the river and you know, I don't know, just, it also doesn't, the seawall you can see down here doesn't provide any kind of habitat for uh, really anything, for any of the coastal, for any of the water, uh, the, the, all the stuff living in the water or, you know, birds or anything else. It's kind of just a bare shoreline here. Um, but then we go down here, we'll see, I'm going to hop down here so you can see. As we get closer to this mangrove over here, you can see we go from, you know, I'm standing in maybe three inches of water. You get to this end of our seawall where we have this big mangrove right here, and you can see we actually have a beach, a dry beach here. And you can see how it goes off like this. And it tapers back in here, but you can see how this mangrove has helped collect sediment and sand and actually added property right here. And, uh, or add a dry land right here. And I mean, these mangroves are great. They, not only are they, not only do they help with coastal erosion, they're, um, they're fantastic, uh, oh look, right here. Fantastic uh, habitat for all sorts of creatures. Here's a blue crab right here. There he goes back into the mangrove. There's all sorts of other crabs in there. We get birds that come and eat the seeds and stuff. Um, just really, it's a, it's a fantastic uh, plant and one that will help with, with coastal erosion. And I know some people, you know, this one right here is maybe 10, 12 feet tall. And, you know, some people are going to say, well, it's going to block the view from my house. But, I mean, you can plant these. You can plant these along your, your property line and then keep them pruned, you know, four or five feet, three or four feet so they don't block your view and they still help with the erosion. And I think we might actually do that. I'm, I'm gonna leave this seawall in place. It's kind of crumbling. I might fix it before we do anything, but I'm gonna leave the seawall in place, I think. But we might actually plant some little mangroves all along here and then just keep it pruned a little bit higher than the grass level here um, to help with the erosion. Uh, because this, you know, this river needs all the help it can get. Uh, the, the, this is the Indian River Lagoon and it's one of the most diverse ecosystems in our country, but it's also one of the most polluted. And you know, so anything we can do to help and then anything we can do to protect our property from erosion is, I think, a, a great idea. We actually, uh, we've signed up for a, uh, we signed up for a program. They've already done a survey of our property where they're going to come out and put oyster and clam beds in the water here. Um, you can look into that, but the oysters and clams filter like a ton of water. I don't know how many gallons or hundreds of gallons a day one clam or oyster filters. But uh, so we, we've signed up for that program, and, and then my wife and I know how to plant mangroves. I think we th there's another program you can sign up for in our area here in Central Florida, at least, where they will do a site evaluation and then plant mangroves for you. But uh, we know how to do that, so I think we might plant some mangroves down the seawall here. And like I said, you can keep them pruned, um, you know, to as high as you want, so they don't block your view or anything. But they'll still help. Not only will they help with the erosion, but again, they'll help with all. They, they provide such a great habitat for all the critters in the water, and then even birds and stuff like that. They provide habitat and food for. And again, you can just clearly see here, you know. There's a sandy beach right there. And just right here, 20 feet away from the mangrove, I'm standing in water. I mean, it's just as clear as day that um, they do help with, you know, cutting back on erosion. So, uh, you know, all you uh, homeowners out there that have, you know, waterfront property, I know that you can't plant mangroves on the beach, but uh, if you have waterfront property on a, you know, a 
the intercoastal or you know some brackish body of water where um, erosion is a problem uh, I'd encourage you to look into um, not only the clam and oyster bed program but also look into uh, planting mangroves or other native plants to help with your erosion because it, it's uh, you know it's a win-win for everyone it, it helps your property and it helps the environment too so uh, anyways y'all I hope uh, this video was informative if it was I finally learned how to put a subscribe button uh, I think it's in this corner or maybe this one I don't know but uh, we'd appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing to our channel until next time everybody take care <laughs>